Nice deep breath together. Sink into the floor. This might be the one Monday where we just kind of do Shavasana for the whole class. That'd be pretty cool. Good, and we'll breathe deeper into our body, an extra beat of inhalation, an extra beat of exhalation. It's been a very busy day at the Riley Casa, probably the same with you, so good to gather with our yogis. Bali, Bali walk. <sighs> All the cool kids are in class. A couple more minutes on our back. Good. Check in with whatever you're feeling. How are you feeling? What's your emotional weather today? Super excited, enthusiastic, raring to go, medium, neutral, bored, worried. Where are you at? What emotional music is playing in your system? It's not who we are. It's just the music we're playing. Go about two more minutes. You can fall asleep if you want. Sometimes it's nap time. Pollywog can relate to that. So can I. I tried to nap earlier today. I got too many things on my mind, too many projects, too many ideas, and I just couldn't do it. Welcome if you're live streaming on YouTube, maybe you stumbled across a yoga class online. What is up with this? This is the this is where the elite meet to get healthy, strong, happy head, arms, and feet. This is yoga for everybody. If you're not a circus performer or a gymnast or a contortionist, you're exactly what we're looking for. Okay, biggest, deepest inhale of your whole life. Biggest outhale. Now we might think to ourselves that we're calm, peaceful souls. That's a good thing to learn, whether you're, say, 2 or 82. Okay, wiggle your fingers and toes and start your engine. Circulate some feel-goods around yourself. 
These are called polywoggles, actually, where you wiggle your fingers and your toes. They're named after polywog. Good arms up to the ceiling. Stretch your arms up over your head. Writhe around on the floor. Make some snow angels in your freshly vacuumed carpet. You ever been to somebody's house and you can see all the vacuum streaks? Mess that up. Good. Draw your knees in for some knee hugging and some back rolling. Okay, let's roll up, shall we? Okay, I've got a mentor and he always says to me, first things first. So we're going to wish Pollywog a happy birthday. Pollywog is two years old. And two is the new one. So if you'd like to turn your microphone and sing a happy birthday to Paul. Oh, 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 ready? Oh, ready? Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to the Polly Walking in. Greggy, yes, that's Greggy. That's Greggy. Can you give him kisses? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Happy birthday, dude. Um, Say um, thank you. Um, he wants to ohm. Ohm. <laughs> now we'll ohm together. Big ohm. Oh. Polly Wog, I'm going to come visit you one of these days pretty soon. We're going to go for a walk. Okay, before we stand up, I've got to loosen up my shoulders. I hope you'll do that with me. Polly Wog, we love you a lot. We think you're the tied for first of the most precious beings on the planet. And you're part of our yoga tribe forever. Five, six, seven, eight. Other way, one. Two, three. Oh, I got the yawns, you guys. I got it. We got to stand up. We're going to get me up off of my A in just a second. Six. I'm keeping my language clean around the polywog. I do have some ethics. Inhale. Exhale out. Now, in honor of polywog, we're going to do four can uh, two candles. Whoo! Candle number two. Two is a significant birthday. Whoo! Okay, we're gonna stand up because otherwise I'm gonna be on my behind the whole time. Got my yoga blocks, gonna do the forward fold thing, gonna drain my brain, get rid of any stinking thinking, painful patterns of emotion. You know me, I like wagging my tail feathers. If I was a cat, I'd have a big fluffy tail like my cat. Gonna wag my shag, gonna see if I can get my head to fall off and quit worrying so much. Everything is always working out for the Yoga Fusion tribe. We're living proof, obviously. Lift both heels, bend both knees, look forward. Exhale and just a comfortable deepening. One, two, Three. Speaking of which, Polywog, here comes Looney Bin Laden right now. Okay, let's stand up, you guys. And we'll raise our arms up over our head. Good, and we're just going to step side to side. Good, and we'll bring our cat down and we'll swing our cats left and right. Woo! Polywog, Looney wants to meet you. Okay, I'm gonna put Polywog, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put Looney Bin, I've got a one-year-old as well. Good, we're gonna continue two more zombie steps. One, two. Okay, we're gonna get slacky per quacky and we are gonna swing, because it don't mean a thing if you don't gotta swing. It's true in jazz, it's true in golf. Now I hit myself a little bit. Um, 
I'm hitting myself up here. Three, two, one. This is the sequence that keeps me alive. I got to tell you guys. Okay, left foot forward, right toenails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. I had two musician friends come over. They jammed at my house. I played the drums. My friend Dick, who's the friend, uh, brother of my golf buddy, he's the musical master and another kind of newbie came over. Okay, we're gonna sink into our ankles and our feet. We had such a good time. I actually felt like a musician today. Paul Lewag, I want you to come over and jam with us pretty soon. We gotta get you on an instrument as soon as possible. Good, come up and out. That's the time to learn when you're two years old. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way. It's also good to be exposed to a lot of languages. That's why Europeans frequently speak at least three or four languages because they're everywhere. Grandma's French, grandpa's German. Seven, eight, sink into your feet. Americans can only speak American. It's kind of tragic. Good. All right. Now we're going to drop our head and take coconuts around eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coming to life, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to fall asleep with our, while well, standing with our chins dropped and our eyes closed, we're going to totally relax into our body for about 18 seconds. Now we're gonna remember that everything is always working out for us forever, for eternity, and it's good now and getting better. Good shoulders, one. Now I'll admit this is our second shoulder sequence. I was stalling earlier. Have you ever procrastinated before? Me neither, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale, eight. I'm going to stare at my cat. Hi, guy. Up your back, behind your head. Oof. Why are you, are you eyeballing me? Are you staring at me? Oof. He thinks I'm weird, but it's mutual. Poof. And one more. Poof. Now lace your hands behind your back. Give your cat a kiss. Catty kiss him. And we're going to do bobbin for apples. Now, Polly Wog, I want you way down on the floor on this one. I want you looking around for toys and stuff. I want your head and your behind on the floor. Inhale, look forward at Polly Wog. Exhale, arms all the way over, booties down. Come on up, kids. Toes in, heels out, release your arms. Thwang, say your arms. Boy, it's hot in my living room. A lot of lights. Push up. It's not easy being a movie star. Good side bend left, you guys. Get into some areas where you haven't been yet today. We live in these bodies. We probably should visit the various neighborhoods. Inhale up and to the right. But if you're going to go into your head, don't go alone. Go with somebody that can keep you safe. And up, kids. And release out. Okay, pause. One, two. Or I have to do this because I have to keep my hands as fast as my cat because he takes swings at me frequently and I have to be able to block them kung fu style other way one two 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, shake away cares and worries. Hi, how you doing? A little faster because it's Monday, it's moon day. You see the moon, it's like almost full. This is my favorite phase of the moon. It's not full yet. It's pretty pregnant, but has not given birth just yet. Cup your hands at your heart and bless yourself. I'm a firm believing that we should bless, love and affirm and respect ourselves in a healthy, intelligent fashion. Cut myself a little slack doesn't mean I don't have some character defects to work on. Good, relax my arms down, inhale up. Good, release up, hands on our cute little hips, toes in, heels out, and we are gonna, we're gonna grind it, girls. It's 1980s Jane Fonda yoga. Take it around. We got leg warmers on. We got that hairstyle everybody was wearing in the 80s, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Turn your butt, er, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome, if you're just getting into class, we're turning our hips up, you go. Exhale out, hoppity hip your feet together, jump for joy, hands above your knees. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now count in another language. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ochenta. Come on up, kids. Doing good. Good. Lace your hands and pull yourself up off your own bootstraps way up off the floor. Can you levitate? You will be able to sooner or later. Standard operating procedure for a yogi levitating is pretty cool. You don't even need a Tesla. 20, 19, 18, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and then double time 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stay up on one. Close your eyes, balance on your tippy toes, pretend you like it, suck your tummy in. Open your eyes now on your tippy toes, side bend tippy toes. We haven't done that for a while. Ooh, extra stretchy, less roots in the ground, fewer roots in English. Inhale up and this way. Uh, uh, and up. Drop your heels, release your arms. Good job. Left arm in front of your right, palms in. Clap for yourself, you beautiful yogis. Pull hands up, wear hands on your head. This time our feet are staying attached to the earth as we grow roots up to the sun. And side bend, keep your feet equally grippy on the earth. Up to the right, lean in. Lean into your life. Life is a great adventure. Inhale up, arms are down, fall, lift them over, head falls off, bonk. Lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale the air out and do a Helgasana, a deep, respectable, competent forward fold. One, two, three. Ooh. Come on up, you guys. Up you go. Exhale out. Right arm in front of your left. Palms in. Clap for me. Thank you. I don't mind a little, I don't mind a few accolades. And pull. Now push the earth down and stab the clouds. And side bend right. You might say something like, oof. Grip your legs together as if you're gripping your legs together. Up you go. And to the this way. 
I love side bending. I like seeing life from a different angle. I don't always want to see life from one angle because then I can't relate to anybody else. Up you go. Arms are down, flips them over, head comes off, pull the pin out of your hair, shake your shag, lift your heels, bend your knees, the soft, squishy part. Exhale, grab your ankles in a full pike position. One, no breathing. Two, explore depth. Three, come up, kitty mittens. Well, now we know Pollywog likes to chant Om, so we better go up our back on a big old inhale and belt out an Ethel Merman Om to the Pollywog inhale. Big inhale, because you need it. Exhale, scrunch a bunch down and to the right, left elbow outside your right knee. This is one of those $3 poses where you could kind of mail it in, but then you kind of shove your knees to the left, tuck your elbows to the right. Somebody pulls your buns back and somebody puts one of those thousand pound cartoon weights on your back. So you're getting squished, drop your chin though. And you get bonus points, super bonus points for lifting your toes and spreading them open and getting some fresh air in between your sweaty little niblets down there. Sink down. Uh, it's work, isn't it? Can we do some yoga that doesn't involve work? No. And drop your arms. Come up, kitty cats. Work is fun if you make it fun. Inhale. What is life without work? Exhale out. Nobody wants to work anymore. What's up with this younger generation? Do I sound like an old man yelling at clouds? At least I'm busy. Inhale up. Exhale loud. Would I like to move back in with my parents? Sure, I just don't want to live in a graveyard. <laughs> Inhale up your back one more time. Good, now pull prayer mitts down and to the left as strongly as you can. Right elbow outside your left knee. Sink down. Now, if your right knee is ahead of your left knee, that's not allowable. You got to clean that up like a strict teacher. Do you ever have a strict teacher when you grow up that kind of scared you? Shove your knees to the right, tuck your tummy, hands pull in, and now I'm going to come over to your house. I'm going to sit on you. Just going to sit on your back. Sit on you. Ugh. Just one inch lower. You can do it. And stay here. And come on up, kids. Up you go. Ah, we feel like $100. Inhale. That's an old line. Exhale out to the side. Scary crows side to side. What's up, cat? What's up, guy? Have moochie? Have them, we call them moochies. Sorry, very indulgent. Public display of cat affection. Attendance of class goes up when I do that, I have to admit. Good, now pray behind your back or come up with some satisfying variation of your own. As long as it's satisfying, uh, there we go. That's hard for me, and I, but I can still do it. Gonna shrug my shoulders around. I'm gonna do everything as much as I can for as long as I can. I'm gonna, if you look at, if you Google the word overdue, there's a picture of me. Turn your face to the right and tilt over. I have a little bit of an addictive personality. <laughs> little bit. Inhale up, you guys. Turn your face to the left and tilt over. Crack, 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 says my spine. What's your spine saying? Inhale up, mitten kittens. And let's fold halfway over. Let's do ironing board pose. This is the one where you feel your head being pulled forward in partner yoga. And another partner has wrapped a lasso around your buns and is pulling your buns back. And you're getting some nice space in between your vertebras. Inhale. 
Exhale and deepen into savage prayer hands forward fold. One, two, three. Now bend your knees for extra springiness and resilience. The kids came up through the ranks together. And I'm going to stretch the cat shuttle on my t-shirt up to the sky while I lean backwards and kiss my cat. One, two, I'm going to get scratched, three, and come up and out, kitty cats. Good. And take your paws out of there. Inhale up. Oh, this is that Monday sequence. It's just once a week, you guys. Arms out. Now, huge hugs. Biggest hugs you got. Multiple grandchildren's. Pull arms back. And right arm under. My arms are kind of sweaty. They slide in. Right knee up over your left. Extra satisfying. Now, all of us being professional veteran yogis, we like lifting our right foot and balancing like we've done it before. Then we squeeze ourselves like a piece of Charmin paper towel. That's a bad example, isn't it? Sink low, you guys. Uh, this keeps you young. Good. Now arms fling out and we just grab our right foot with our left hand. Piece of cake. Right hand saves our life down on the floor. And then the work is bringing right knee super extra close to the floor, bending everything, looking forward whilst we're doing it. Exhale, right knee up to the cat, head down, left leg straightens, full standing split. You should be feeling this. You should be going, wow, this is a lot. Now, extend your right arm out to the side with a falling, falling. I love flamingo pose. I like to push my left thumb into my middle of my right foot and do some reflexology whilst I'm in the midst of this. Right hand down, right leg releases back. And we're gonna take our left arm up and look at the waxing almost full moon tonight. But you're not gonna forget about your right heel. You're gonna push it back like an enraged donkey and lift it out. Turn your t-shirt open. Yoga teachers talk in the most irritating syntax. Left arm down. At least I don't talk like a valley girl. Right arm up, you guys. I've done a lot of valley girl yoga. Stretch open, you guys. The only person, nobody's watching but you and God and all of the angels with their scorecards. Good. Now, right hand comes down. That's a distressing thought. Now, re grab your right foot with your left hand. Stand up with aplomb and dignity. Boop. Right knee out in front, right foot didn't touch the floor. That's a good day. Good, we're gonna wave our arm like lunat lunatics. Lunatics, named after the people that went crazy for watching the moon. Right ankle over your left knee and pose dedicated to the yoga sage Todd Schultz Asana. Sink in. Although Jennifer Schultz does it better. Sink low, sweet chariots. Bend that left knee, left ankle so much. This is the one we've been praying for eight seconds. So while a spiritual master said, pray ceaselessly, in this case, eight seconds will do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the blocks. Extra bend left knee till you squeal. Deep savage, crazy forward fold. One. Put your right big toe in your left ear, two, squeak it around, three. This pose just gets everything. Why waste time? Now pray hands, please. And come on up. Boop. And oh, oh, left cheekage bitterly complaining. Inhale, you guys. And a forward fold to forget about it. Just forget about it. Drain your brain. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, hello. Exhale to pretty deep forward fold. Ooh, my calves are tight. Moo, they say, moo, ooh. Okay, come up one more side and then we get to lay around on the floor with bolsters and talk about our problems. Inhale, what could be better? 
Exhale. You think you got problems. <laughs> Let's gossip. Inhale up. Thank God none of us gossip anymore. Unless it's really good gossip. Exhale out to the side. Couple scary crows just for the sheer unadulterated improvisational fun of it. None of that because we're Puritans. Arms pull back, left arm sweeps under, fold up your wings and your left knee goes smartly up over your right knee. Now we're veteran, sophisticated, competent, excellent adept yogis. So we lift left foot immediately and the magnificent among us slink left ankle behind right ankle. The rest of us, well, we can dream, can't we? Do you believe in miracles? Yes. Al Michaels, 1980 Olympics, USA beats America. Did you watch that? That was on my birthday, February 24th, 1980. I turned two years old. Sink lower, you guys. I have a little problem with truth telling sometimes. Good, now arms fling out, flinging, ying, 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 left knee out in front. We could do this for days, but we don't have to. Right hand grabs left foot. Behind your behind, left hand saves us. Then the fun where the left knee actually does touch the floor now because you can get down and get funky. Funky, lower. Ugh. Exhale, left knee fully to the ceiling. Your hips will say something in hip language like erg, erg as your right leg. Oh, crack says my, oh, wow. That was a lot of crack. That's the most crack I've had in a long time. Good, now left arm out to the side. Zing, ing, 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 ing. Do it. Ah, there we go. Balance is the ability to obsess equally in every area of life. Good, now left hand down, left leg shoots back like Enthusiastic donkeys, right arm turns up to the waxing gibbous moon. Tonight's the night where the sun is up and the almost the full moon is up at the same time. It's so cool. You can look all the way across the Milky Way or what's this solar system. Turn, lift, expand. Good, right hand down. And left arm is to sweep up a lot. In fact, your left arm should be on top of your right arm and your left leg opens up like a windmill. And you stop thinking because there's just doing good hand down. Now cleverly re-grab left foot with right hand and we stand out of developing situation. Good, now we're gonna wave our arms like lunatics. People used to go crazy back in the Middle Ages. There was probably ergot poisoning. Left ankle over your right knee. And Poge dedicated to the sage Tadasana. Now you could squat all the way down, but your right heel would lift and I think you'd lose some of it, but you can, you can if you want. Now we're just gonna pray for eight seconds. And go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands on the blocks. Bend your right knee as much as you can without screaming too loud for the neighbors. Exhale deep into the deepest forward fold you've ever done so you feel fabulous after class. One, two, three. Repray hands. Come up. Put down, inhale, and we're going to ohm without any breath because we're tired. Inhale. Oh. Prayer hands, 30 seconds, quiet standing meditation. Proud of you guys. It's the dog days of summer, a lot of people on vacation, but you showed up, you suit up and throw up. That's what I always say.
All right, let's do some yin. That was good for a hot, sticky day. So let's be elite and get on our seat and get off of our feet. Let's go right into cobbler's pose, peach cobbler's pose, heels pull in. Everybody's a little different with that. We might rock side to side. Now we're going to stay rocked to our left. We're going to straighten our right arm and push our right knee all the way down to the floor. Oh, I just got a, I felt some release there. Yeah, my body was going, just, just leave me alone. And it just went, okay, I'll release. Okay, we're going to go over here. Then lefty's going to straighten. Okay, and then we're gonna see where we're at with the straightening both at the same time, one. Good now, yoga fists for strong wrists. Plant fists, place feet. Oh, you are the cutest. I know, I love you. I super love. Lift up, you guys. My cat motivates me. When my cat is 14, I'm going to be 80 years old, so I'm, I'm planning ahead. Come on down. 80 is really young nowadays. 80 is the new 50, I think. Good, now stretch your legs out. Fan your toes open freakish wide. Stretch your arms up. <coughs> cough, cough. Good, back posture, cave chest, bent elbows, knees bent, big frowny face. Good, then super perky, great posture, full chest, smiling countenance, shiny teeth, toes spread open, legs grip the floor, nobody could push me over. Unless I wanted them to. Good. One more time. We'll bring paws down. This time, open hands. Buns up. Maximal bun li lifting. A very old porcupine with a walker is going to go underneath you. And he's a very nice elderly porcupine. And he's a little slower than average. So let him go underneath. Oh, he had to stop and pick up his car keys. Hold on just a second. Oh, here comes another porcupine. Lift up really high. And come on down now. <laughs> Good. All right. And we'll smartly fold our right shin under. Quick as a bunny. Lace your hands behind your head. And everybody can bring their right elbow down to the floor. Everybody can turn their chest up to the ceiling. Some people can even bring their shoulder blades down to the floor. Good, and upcoming developments. Arm stretch up whilst right bun presses down. That's an inhale, of course. Turn much right, and perhaps you can release your left hand down to your right ankle, at least your right hip, and then look back at your cat. If you don't have a cat right now, look back at past cats. A comedian friend of mine says, life is a series of cats. It's a bittersweet truth, isn't it? I didn't think I'd get over the passing of my previous cat. You guys saw me go through that. And here we are. Somehow we just keep going, don't we? The journey to heaven is an in interesting one. Good, you guys. We'll come on out of that. Now, once again, big open hands. Hands behind you. And half a camel as we... Here comes that damn porcupine again. So it's a porcupine crossing, lift up. And it's one of those porcupine crossings where they count out 45 seconds. Have you been to any of those streets in San Ramon? 45 seconds in the crosswalk. When I was a kid, you just had to run in between cars. And come on down. 
All right, let's take this leg out. Let's fold left shin under. This is the side where I moderate a lot. So don't do what I do, both hands behind your head and lean your left elbow all the way down to the floor. Do you sound like an old person when you say, boy, the kids today, they got it too soft, wrapped in bubble wrap and mylar and stuff, and they got cameras on them, helicopters all over the place watching them. It was different when I was a kid. I didn't have to go back home at all. It's great. There's no reason to go home. <laughs> Not in my house. There was pots and pans flying everywhere. Okay, come on up, kids. Okay, now you guys lean back on your hands, and I want your buns elevation expression. Up you go. Polly Porcupine is coming by. Got a snake crawling underneath you. What don't you like? Spiders lift up really high. I like spiders personally. And come on down. Now, both paws up because you can do it. Turn very much left. And you bendy bears, right hand, left ankle. Can you do that? Can you get your left arm behind you and do about a 270 to the left? I bet you can. Pull that left hip to the floor. That's what I want. Pollywog! Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> Happy two to Pollywogs. And you got a lot to look forward to when you're two years old. And release out of that. Good job, you guys. Drag our leg out of that. Very good. All right. How are we doing? Great. All fours, please. Pollywog, you can do all fours if you want. Crawling. We all started crawling. The first yoga pose we ever do is we crawl and then somehow we get into a downward facing dog and then we stand up and then we fall. And then we do another downward facing dog and then we fall. And then we learn to walk. Then we get older and then we fall <laughs> ups and downs. Just kidding, none of us are falling. Dos mas. Okay, let's just pay a couple of dues. Right arm out to the side, right ear, right shoulder down to the floor for relaxing. Both knees down pose. Left arm up pose. Pollywog, this is a good one. You're going to be doing this one pretty soon. Now, left arm behind your back. Polly, kiss your grandma. Kiss grandma. Up, oh, Pollywog's being. Bye. It's an interesting phase of life where large monsters come pick you up and take you to other rooms. Rest in this one for a moment. Good. Now, kids, put your left hand back out in front of your face and then lift your left leg all the way up to the squealing ceiling. This is the one that only our, our yoga tribe does, which is why we're stronger and smarter and frankly better looking than most other yoga groups now the left arm goes up to prove our superiority and then we reach up and we grab our left foot because we're coordinated and then we just straighten our left leg and everything pretty much gets a stretch this pose is a stretch Then we release it, we come out with happiness. And we perform a couple of cats and cows. I was gonna say execute a couple of cats and cows, but it seems like harsh language. So just perform some cats and cows. My cat is completely passed out. He's thinking of cows. He likes beef jerky. Left arm out to the side, zing, 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 zing. zing. Left arm happy comes under for the squishy, sleepy part of this sequence. Both knees are down. It's a forward fold. It's a twist. It's a steak knife. It's a food processor. It's everything all in one. 
Order now and you get John Denver's greatest hits on CDs. Remember those commercials, Time Life? Good, now right arm up to the ceiling, right arm behind your back. Then there's this part. This really stretches my neck and back and stuff. That's why I invented this pose. Good, now put your right hand back in front of your pace like a face like a pillar, pace like a filler. Good, now push into your right hand so your right leg goes up like a moon dial. I'm gonna write a song called Moon Dial. Higher, cause I'm watching. Now fling your right hand up, flinging, ing, 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 ing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Now grab your foot, probably your right one. Walk your hands to your toes. And then just stretch your right leg till you can hear your lycra spandex squeaking a little bit. Push into your left forearm. Smile. Skill in life is being in sticky situations with the biggest smile, knowing everything is always working out for you. And release. Thwang, yang, 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 yang. Come out of horrible situation. Now we're going to flick our paws around backwards. We're going to fold our toes underwards. We'll do a couple of cats and cows with my toes that don't fold and my wrists that do. This pose would be so, feel so good if my toes and my ankles bent. I'll tell you what, man, next lifetime, I am coming back with the bendy toes to well, now just lean back as far as you can. The bendy people, butt on the heels, toes bent, wrist break, chin down. Be content with where you're at. The yoga word for contentment is samtosha. Okay, kids, there's just one more miserable position, and then it's all soft, squishy stuff. So on your elbows. That's usually an indication that it's almost planks giving. So shoot your feet back. And we're just going to exercise some discipline. Let's say, I could say, a, how about a Sanskrit prayer? Are you ready? Om Triambakam Yajamahe Shugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Ruka Miva Bandanan Mrityor Mukshiya Mamritat. That means something in Sanskrit. Three, two, I bet Gita could tell me. And come on down, kids. Now just lay on your left ear and just let's veg for a second. Let's reminisce, shall we? Big toes together, ankles flop out to the side. Wiggle your buns. And right ear. I could do this for about 16 more hours. Let's come up out of this. Let's wind her down, kitty cats. What do you say? Too much yang and no yin makes a person crabby. Perfect timing, by the way. Now, I'm just sitting in uh, Sukhasana. That's easy sitting pose. Sometimes my buns get a little tucked underneath, so I pull them back a little. And I feel like a blockhead. Charlie Brown pose. I like this one because I can balance my head and my hips, and then I feel weightless, timeless. Relax your shoulders. Now, I've got a question for you. Are you a calm and peaceful soul?
Okay, my friends, and we'll come up out of that side. We should probably do an ohm because oming is making us so enlightened. Up your back, behind your neck. Oh, 20 happy seconds of peaceful absorption in spirit, peace, bliss, eternity. Spiritual beings having a curious temporal experience. It's weird being human, given who we really are. It's fun sometimes. Rokey dokey, switch the cross of your units. Decide how much blockage you want. And enjoy i've been beating on you pretty hard this class i will admit now when i come forward i kind of i woggle my buns back a little because that way i feel length of spine i am actually folding over my thigh bones my lower back relaxes and then occasionally occasionally in my life i remember to relax my shoulders away from my ears because it's chronic it's the chronic. All right, and come on up. And tonight we're just going to do Parivrita Sukhasana, which is easy pose twist, arms up, lace them up, drop them, push buns down, hands up, turn right, left hand, right knee, right arm behind you. Of course, the advanced version is right arm goes behind your back and grabs your blah, 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 right foot, but it's okay if you don't. Now turn your face all the way to the left, even though your chests are going to the right. Tilt your head to the left, drop your chin. Be beautiful. I think you are. Inhale. And release out a second to last pose. Now we should switch the cross of our legs the this way, right? We should probably lace our fingers one finger over. We should push up all the way to the cat, all the way to the loony bin. Turn as much left as you can currently, concurrently, right hand, left knee, left arm behind you. Get a good twist of your whole chest to the left. Upon maximizing chest left, maximize face right. And then that cocky little look where you stylishly cock your head to the right, looking saucy, drop your chin. Saucy is an interesting adjective, isn't it? No one's ever called me saucy before. Wish they would. Lean in, twist. Okay, my friends, and we're going to come out of twist. Now, I'm sorry to be cruel to you, but we're going to meditate for a whole minute, and then I'll release you into Shavasana. So I'm going to take roll, and I'm going to see who will meditate with me for a minute. So my spine is extra super amazingly tall. My shoulders are relaxed. My chin is level. I'm going to drop my chin tonight to relax my neck. Close our eyes and feel the breath at the tip of your nose. And if you're in 
assailed by constant thinking, st stop doing that. Beautiful. Now let's rem remember that even a moment in conscious contact counteracts and dissolves years and weeks and months of stress. So good for you. Now, whatever your favorite Shavasana is, because it's the top of the hour, as we say in the news industry. So enjoy if you can, and I'm going to hold some time and space for you. Good Nabin. Guten Morgen, Ich bin ein Berliner. I love Helga. Have a good evening. Good, wiggle your legs out. Eyes roll back. Your favorite, sweetest masseuse rubbing your temples. Five minutes.
Okay, beautiful, relaxed friends. Stay relaxed. It's just the it's just the first call to come back. Take your time. Good, second call to come back. Start to move back in the general direction of your body with your large spirit body. And put yourself back inside of your skin. Feel your body weight on the floor, wiggle your fingers and toes, circulate extra, extra super feel good through yourself. When you're ready, curl on to your right side. Okay, keeping our eyes closed, because that's the rule when we sit up, because we're so centered and grounded and vibrationally coherent and coordinated and connected on the inside, the C words. Then our hands fit so nicely into our heart, our heads bow. We enjoy the grace and mercy of our source and that it makes more of one of us so that we can all fall in love with each other. And all together we say, Namaste. Woo! Okay, YouTubers, you guys, I love you. Don't forget.